she went out hard last year, goes through uh, the half marathon last year in 67.34, fell apart in the back half, still won. So what does she do this year? She goes out even faster. She's like, that wasn't fast enough. I have to go out even faster. 65.44 at halfway. Gordon, for early parts of this race, she was in 2.10 pace. 211 pace. Just a natural 210 pace, you know. Just no big deal. Then start slowing, then start slowing, gets to the line, misses the world record, but not by much. 214 for her at the end. 214. What was the final time there, Colt? Oh, Colt pulled out the rug right at the end. Uh, 214, 18 for her. So 14 seconds off Bridget Koskai's world record. She did it winning this race by over four minutes. Again, it was never close. It was her and uh, the pace setter who was with her for a good portion of the race, but it was all Chef and Gedditch from the go. I knew she'd run fast. You held my feet to the fire, said, make a pick. Is she gonna run 214th? I, I didn't think she'd go out this fast. And I don't know, after this race, Gordon, when we talk about the women's field as a whole, there's one thing I'm very confident about and two things I am not at all confident about. Okay. You wanna, you wanna uh, run, th- run tell through me this? what you're confident about first. I'm confident now that the world record's getting broken. And it's getting broken soon. And this was an outlier performance, cause guys mark. It was sitting out there. You can look at the all-time list right there. Before Chep and Geddes ran it, there was over a minute and 10 seconds back to Paula Radcliffe. I thought it would hang on for a while. It is so clear now. Because Chep and Geddes did not run this in the most economical way. If you were to write a book on how to run a marathon, it would be the opposite of how she did it with the positive split. right? You think if she just holds it back a little bit in the first 10K, this record is completely gone. But it's not just her. It's all these other women. It's Acefa who came on the scene and ran 215. It's Gade who's going to run in Valencia. So the one thing I'm sure about, women's world record in the marathon is going to be gone potentially in Valencia, but it's not going to last, I don't think, past the spring of 2023. Because it'll get broken again It's going to It's going to get broken. It's going to get broken in, in London or, or somewhere, maybe even a, a Dubai like or Tokyo. An Amsterdam. Like, this it's a full-on assault now everybody no one is afraid of running 214 low pace and there's so many women out there they can i mean get it. she wasn't afraid to run 210 pace i know <laughs> like if she i'm sure smart people with the numbers can adjust it like how much time did she cost herself yeah. by running 210 pace because if this was like this could have gone really south like last year where she goes out in 65 and then comes out in what 72 or something like that and we would have been like whoa th- there she goes again i mean credit to her for hanging on but that brings my one of my things i'm not confident about is where the world record ends i don't know is it going to be 213 high I like people now are talking 212 211 possibly being out there as as potential marks now in the future just because how aggressive she ran and how fast the half marathon is right now for the woman i mean should we start the clock for Breaking 210. You know, you had the breaking two. I don't think it's that far out there, man. Should breaking 210 be the new (laughs) thing that we see in, what, 2030? Yeah. Breaking 210 attempt from some, you know, 18-year-old right now, you know, 10 years from now? It's so hard to not get carried away after one performance, but then you just see how aggressively she ran and what everybody else is doing. Because that's the other part. Here's another mystery I have after this race. Who are the best women in the world right now in the marathon? You had a big three before. Kozgai, Jeb Chirchir, Jeb Kozgai. Then this fall, you have Chep and Gedditch do this. You have Asefa, former 800-meter runner, run 215. And then you have Yahuwala, who has only done this twice and is the second fastest half marathoner of all time, win sure. London. You probably are going to throw Gade in there. So somehow the big three has, is going to turn into the big seven in a matter of... That's good for a good playoff run. <laughs> you exactly. get seven deep, they got yeah, two on the need, bench. Yeah, you need seven who can contribute. But I have no idea who number one is in the world. And I don't know. Like, I would guess at least four of those women have a legit shot of being the person to break the world record. Because you figure Koskai could break her own mark. Gade has the half record and she can debut quickly. Jeff and Gedditch is just GC, chill for first 5K or 10K. And then Asefa... Runs 215. I don't know, man. Kevin, you know you're sounding like. What am I saying? You're sounding you? like me a year or two ago yeah. when I was all in on the NCA 5K. Yeah. <laughs> when I said there was like everyone and their yeah. mom was but look a this. great NCA 5K runner. That's what this women's international marathon is becoming. Like you say, yeah, it's a big. It's not just a big three anymore. You could argue it's a big seven. And I think the betting odds will be pretty even across all seven of them. Mm-hmm. Maybe a few more to, you know, Kaskai because she's the world record holder. But like, it is. 
I think it's great. I mean, it's very interesting. It's a very different dynamic between the men's yeah. uh, landscape and the women's landscape. Yeah. Men's, it's Kipchoge, field. It's kind of like it was Tiger Woods versus the field yeah. during his prime. Women, though, there is no Kipchoge on the women's side. Yeah. There are like seven Kipchoges. And it's great because you don't know who's going to win any given moment. So she goes out, as I meant. What's that? Oh, oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so this, yeah, Colt's throwing up the, the yearly list there. So 214 for Chep and Gedich, then Acefa 215, then 216.02. I mean, this brings up your point uh, from Friday's show. How many of the top 20 are going to come from 2022? And it was already close. Was it close to half or was it exactly half? It was half. Yeah. And then yeah. now we have another one. So now we're past 50% and we still have Valencia to go. So I think if you, if you end up combining 2022 and 2023, we might end up with 75% of the top times um, in history being turned in by, by those women. But 218-29 uh, is like number 29 all time. I guess it's number 30 all time when you throw in also. Well, 13 this year. Yeah, we'll get to yeah. this in a second. One more thing on, on the women's side of things. Like, well, what question I want to ask you. So she goes out 65-44. So, I mean, what hat do you think if she goes out in? I think 30 seconds slower. I and, think 30 and, seconds slower, she runs. This is going to sound weird. I think 30 seconds slower, she runs 15 seconds faster. Oh, I think that's, and I think that's cautious. I think maybe even quicker. Be, like, she could have run 213. Don't you agree? If she went out a little bit. Yeah, 15 seconds faster. Yeah. Well, that's 18 seconds, but okay. 19, Roughly, 19 seconds. You know, yeah. round it. Come on. You know, I just, I'm using rounder numbers, all right? No one speak. We, we speak in 15s, 10s, and 30s, <laughs> not 18s, yeah. 17s, and 12s. Okay, so what do you, I think, I think it's realistic that we're going to see the women's world record between 2022 and 2023 not just go under 214. I think we could see it under 213. Do you think that's realistic? So you're seeing a 212. Between, but by this time next or by the end of 2023, I wouldn't, I would not be surprised. We're gonna see a 212 by the end of 2023. Yeah, what do you think? It could be 21259. Yeah, that's a, that's a 212. Yeah. Well, you speak in 15s, 30s, 45s, and z- double zeros. I guess. I don't <laughs> no, know. but okay. So, I mean, it's October 10th, 2022. Are we making our way too early? 2023. No, I'm just right saying. Now? How did how did this race impact what you think of? where the world record is going to go because you have someone who clearly didn't run it by the book and still almost broke the world record. And then you have someone who's not the far and away the best woman in the world. Like you have to figure there's gonna be other women who could run with her and, and push the pace. Like, doesn't this, wouldn't you watch this race and say, yeah, someone can run like a minute 20 faster yeah. than that. That was, that was my big takeaway. 